At the smallest scales, spinning particles in fluids behave in ways that are entirely reversible. When the Reynolds number is very low, Re1, inertia is negligible and viscous forces dominate. The flows generated around each spinner are long-ranged and predictable, so if you reversed the film of their motion, it would still follow the equations of fluid mechanics. In this regime, ordered patterns resembling crystalline lattices can form, stabilized by the balance of gentle, reversible interactions. Doesn't it seem remarkable that even in a noisy fluid, such elegant order emerges simply from particles turning in sync? At larger scales, however, the story changes. As the particle size increases to hundreds of micrometers, inertia begins to compete with viscosity. This pushes the system into an intermediate Reynolds range, Retilde 110, where flows no longer look perfectly smooth or reversible. Instead, oscillations appear, spinners begin to precess, and crystalline order can melt into dynamic, fluctuating patterns. It is as though the simple rules that govern small spinners break down and new, less predictable behaviors emerge. Isn't it strange that the same act of rotation can generate stability at one scale and instability at another? The key lies in the balance between viscous and inertial effects. At low Reynolds numbers, the equations guarantee reversibility because flows are linear and inertia plays no role. But when inertia enters, flows gain memory and the motion of one spinner can perturb another in ways that are no longer undone by simply reversing time. The intermediate regime sits between two well-studied limits, purely viscous and fully turbulent, and it has rarely been explored experimentally. This is what makes it so intriguing. It offers a chance to watch reversibility gradually give way to irreversibility in real time. Isn't it fascinating that the transition is not abrupt, but a delicate dance where order and chaos coexist? A lesser known fact, is that this regime mirrors puzzles in other areas of physics. In active matter systems, from bacterial swarms to synthetic swimmers, researchers often struggle to explain how collective order emerges or breaks down under competing forces. Spinners at the mesoscale offer a controlled way to probe these questions, since their activity can be tuned externally with magnetic fields. They act as giant colloids, bridging nanoscale rigidity with mesoscale fluid interactions, and their behavior may provide universal insights into how patterns survive or collapse under noise. Could it be that by studying these spinners, we learn not only about fluids, but also about the very principles of order and disorder in nature? The paradox is striking. At the microscale, spinning particles produce ordered, reversible flows, while at the mesoscale, the same rules give way to oscillations and irreversibility. Out of the same underlying equations emerges both crystalline order and its melting. The mystery is whether this transition reflects a deeper universal principle, one that links molecular reversibility with the macroscopic irreversibility we see in daily life. Are magnetic spinners simply a model system, or could they be a window into the fundamental question of how nature bridges order and chaos across scales. Spinning particles in fluids under external magnetic fields form a highly controllable experimental platform for studying collective dynamics. Each particle responds predictably to applied torques, creating ensembles where microscopic motion can be tracked and tuned. Unlike passive colloids, these spinners generate flows that interact across long ranges. By varying particle size, spin rate, and fluid viscosity, Researchers can access distinct hydrodynamic regimes. This tunability makes spinners ideal for bridging the gap between theory and experiment in active matter systems. They allow systematic exploration of flow, reversibility, ordering, and breakdown. The simplicity of the setup hides the depth of the underlying physics. Ensembles of magnetically rotated microtubes in isopropanol exhibit synchronized rotation and flow induced coupling. It is like a set of spinning tops on a table that, while independent, influence each other through the air currents they create. At small particle sizes, the Reynolds number is much less than one, placing the system firmly in the viscous dominated regime. Here, inertia is negligible and flows are reversible, following the rules of Stokian hydrodynamics. 
Interactions extend over long ranges and decay slowly, creating conditions for collective order. Spinning particles can organize into crystalline arrangements resembling colloidal lattices. These structures are stabilized by hydrodynamic coupling and can persist as long as the system remains undisturbed. The reversibility of flows ensures patterns remain coherent and predictable. Microsized magnetic beads driven to rotate in water align into stable lattice structures. It is like synchronized swimmers moving in perfect formation each stroke reinforced by the surrounding water. As particle size increases to tens or hundreds of micrometers, inertia becomes non-negligible. The Reynolds number enters the intermediate range of about 110, where both viscosity and inertia influence motion. This crossover regime lies between the well-characterized viscous limit and the turbulent world of high Reynolds numbers. It is a rarely studied domain where new collective behaviors emerge. Particles no longer maintain perfect reversibility, and structures become more dynamic. The balance of forces introduces oscillations, precession, and irregular flows. The system enters a landscape of instability and change. Arrays of rolled up magnetic tubes exhibit wobbling and precession when driven at higher rotational frequencies. It is like bicycles, trying to balance at low speed, stable when still small, but oscillatory once inertia kicks in. In this intermediate regime, hydrodynamic interactions lose their purely reversible nature. Particles develop complex trajectories, including oscillations and precession, that destabilize ordered patterns. These dynamics reveal how microscopic reversibility begins to give way to macroscopic irreversibility. Synchronization becomes more fragile as competing viscous and inertial effects shape motion. Patterns that once appeared stable may melt into fluctuating states. The system becomes a testbed for understanding how order breaks down. Spinning colloids show synchronized rotation at low speeds, but fall into irregular precessions at higher ones. It is like dancers who start in step but gradually drift into unsynchronized rhythms as the music speeds up. The competition between viscosity and inertia destabilizes crystalline lattices. Instead of maintaining long-lived order, ensembles undergo lattice melting, where structures dissolve into chaotic arrangements. This transition highlights how microscopic stability is lost when inertia cannot be ignored. Collective patterns break down into dynamic states that resist simple classification. Melting is accompanied by increased fluctuations and energy redistribution in the fluid. What was once ordered becomes turbulent-like and unpredictable. Large spinners in low-viscosity solvents show crystalline order at low frequencies, but disordered swarms at higher ones. It is like ice melting into water. Rigid structure gives way to fluid disorder under changing conditions. The Reynolds number, range between 1 and 10, remains one of the least explored in fluid dynamics. It is small enough to avoid turbulence, but large enough to break the assumptions of Stokes flow. Most theoretical tools work only at the extremes, leaving this middle ground poorly mapped. Magnetically driven spinners uniquely enable controlled access to this space. They provide a platform for systematic investigation of how reversibility erodes. The regime offers opportunities to discover new principles of flow and pattern formation. Exploring it promises insights into universal laws of active matter. Few experimental systems allow systematic probing of Retilde 110, but magnetic spinners provide that control. It is like mapping an uncharted valley between two well-known mountains. Unexpected features lie hidden in the middle. Larger spinners act as giant colloids with externally controlled activity. They combine nanoscale rigidity of their materials with mesoscale hydrodynamic interactions. This hybrid character makes them valuable analogs for testing active matter theories. Their scale allows direct visualization of individual and collective behaviors. Researchers can manipulate parameters precisely and observe the resulting emergent patterns. These systems help bridge the gap between microscopic models and macroscopic consequences. They extend colloidal science into new frontiers of activity.
rolled up microtubes hundreds of microns in length, rotate coherently, yet display collective instabilities. It is like magnifying a chessboard so large that the rules are the same, but new strategies appear. The broader significance lies in understanding how microscopic reversibility yields macroscopic irreversibility. At low Reynolds numbers, flows are reversible, patterns stable, and entropy change minimal. At intermediate scales, however, inertial contributions destroy reversibility and introduce unpredictability. This transition reflects the deep question of how time's arrow emerges in physical systems. Controlled ensembles of spinners serve as a model for probing this shift experimentally. They reveal principles that apply far beyond colloidal or fluid systems. Understanding this link is central to non-equilibrium physics. The gradual loss of reversibility in spinner ensembles parallels the emergence of irreversibility in thermodynamic processes. It is like rewinding a video perfectly at low speed, but watching it blur and distort as the pace increases. The paradox is that the same particles, governed by the same physical laws, can create ordered lattices in one regime and chaotic flows in another. At small scales, reversibility ensures stability, while at larger scales, inertia destabilizes patterns into irreversibility. This demonstrates how the same system embodies two contradictory behaviors depending on scale. Spinners thus expose the hidden boundary between order and disorder in active fluids. They show how microscale rules produce macroscale unpredictability. The crossover is both a challenge and an opportunity for science. By probing it, we can uncover universal principles governing transitions in complex systems. Experiments on magnetic spinners reveal that a system stable at one size or speed becomes unstable at another. It is like the same river that flows smoothly in one stretch but becomes turbulent rapids downstream.